हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड सो लेट सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम न्यूटन एप्शन मेथड वी नीड टू फाइंड द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू ऑफ क्यूब रूट ऑफ सेवेंटीन करेक्ट टू फोर डेसिमल प्लेसेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ न्यूटन एप्शन मेथड सो बिकॉज इक्वेशन इज नॉट गिवन वी कैन एज्यूम x to be equal to cube root of 17. If we cube both side, we'll get x cube equals to 17, or x cube minus 17 equals to zero. So if we want to write a function, that would simply be equal to x cube minus 17, and the derivative of this function will be 3x square. you can roughly think that uh, your number which is 17 lies between 8 and 27 and if you take cube root on both sides or overall then also it lies in between so this is 2 This is cube root of seventeen, and this is three. Uh, so this will lie between two and three. The other way to check this is, uh, let's check the value of the function at two. So if you check, it will be simply eight minus seventeen, which is minus nine, which is negative. If you check the value at three, this will be twenty-seven minus seventeen, which is ten, which is positive. So let's pick our x naught value uh, in between it, these two values, that is two point five. What is the iterative formula in case of Newton-Raphson method, which we will be using continuously? This is x n plus one equals to x n plus Value of uh, sorry minus value of function at x n divided by value of derivative at x n. There are other derived formula also for cube root, but we'll be using the standard formula also because you don't need to remember much formula in this case. So this is the standard formula you can use for any case. So if you find x one for n equals to zero, so that will be x naught, which is two point five minus value of function at two point five. So that will simply be two point five q minus of seventeen. So this is giving us minus one point three seven five. Minus minus plus derivative value at two point five. Derivative is three x square, so three into two point five square. So this is eighteen point seven five. Overall value will be two point five plus one point three seven five divided by. 18.75. So this is going to give you 2.57 followed by three. I'm uh, writing till three decimal, uh, five decimal places. Okay. So this is 2.57 followed by three. Let's find the x2 value. That will be two point five seven triple three minus function is x cube minus seventeen. So this will be two point five seven three 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 cube minus seventeen. So this is going to give us a. Uh, Zero point zero four zero six six. I'm only writing till five decimal places, and three uh, x 
square was the value of the derivative so again 2.57333 square so this will give us 19.86608 if we find the value collectively so 2.57333 minus 0 0.04066 divided by 19.86608 so this is going to give us if I write till 5 decimal places so 2.57128 Currently it is matching till two decimal places uh, but in the problem they have asked to match till four decimal places. So let's see. Let's find the value of x3. So that will be 2.57128 minus. Again x cube minus 17 so 2.57128 cube minus 17 this value is coming out to be if I write roughly here 3.15498 with a negative sign into 10 raised to power minus 5 so 10 raised to power 5 3 to 5 so this will be negative 0 0.3 I think this will work uh, 4 zeros and uh, because we are writing only 3 till 5 decimal places so roughly this will be the value so plus 0 0.0003 it would have been 3 0 0.0003154498 but I am writing only till 5 decimal places so 4 0 and a 3 divided by 3x squared so 3 into what was x it was 2.57128 so this is giving us 19.83444 let's check the collective value 2.57128 plus 0 0.00003 divided by 19.83444 so the value which I am getting is 2.57128 I am only writing till 5 decimal places because 4 matching was required although it is matching till 5 decimal places I have only written till 5 and it is matching till 5 although we needed only till 4 which is there so if I write the approximate value so the approximate uh, we, we need to write here that uh, since x2 and x3 are matching till four places minimum four places you can write five places so approx value of uh, x or you can write what was x that was cube root of 17 and the positive one is 
five seven one two. If you round off, you can also write two point five seven one three because after two you are getting eight. So if you round off, you'll get two point five seven one three. Correct up to four decimal places. Okay. Uh, please uh, let me write that also. So that's it uh, for today. Uh, we needed to find the cube root of 17. So we cube both sides. We got an uh, equation x cube minus 17 equals to zero. That was our function. We found the derivative. That uh, root lies between two and three. Uh, also from the intuition that it 17 lies between eight and 27. If we cube uh, take cube root throughout, then it lies between two and three. And also from the values also. So we chose. Uh, x not as mid value which is 2.5 then the iterative formula xn plus 1 equals to xn minus uh, value of function divided by derivative of function and in second and third iteration we are matching till 5 decimal places so we concluded that the root of q root of uh, root means the solution of uh, x uh, cube minus 17 equals to 0 is uh, 2.5713 correct to 4 decimal places. So that's it for today. You can watch out more problems in the playlist iterative techniques and interpolation. Thanks again.